Introducing FAB 3000 version 8, our new release. Here's 10 cool features. The first one is, the new version 8 includes new dark and light themes, which were inspired by the macOS Mojave. If you wish to have the light theme, go to the options, application color, and choose light theme. The application will need to restart in order for the colors to change. The second nice feature in version 8 is the workspace editor mode, which allows you to switch between various stages for Fab 3000. In this case, you can have the real PCB editor mode, which also includes a bare board price estimator. Or if you don't wish to have it, just disable and it will not be visible. It also includes the documentation mode, allowing you to easily create fab drawings and assembly drawings and others, along with SMT mode and NC editor. Version 8's DFM check has been drastically improved and is much faster. Every rule in the FAT3000 version 8 DFM check may be adjusted, each value may be modified, and if you do not wish to perform a check, simply uncheck it. FAT3000's DFM check includes 75 of the most critical DFM checks. You may save your rules if you have modified them as a different rule set, which can be used anytime that you require to run a DFM check. Before running DFM check, verify your options, and when you're ready, press next. After running the DFM check, FAB 3000 has found quite a bit of violations, and they're all sorted and organized so that you can easily pinpoint them in the browser. The next cool feature of FAB 3000 is the improved PDF report, which allows you to have a much easier to read report. The preview of your bare board, along with a summary, along with each detailed error, along with the coordinates. Another nice feature of FAB 3000 is the environment itself. It allows you to easily navigate each particular net. You can sort by length, by net name, and easily locate any critical section of your design that you need to review. Everything that you can perform with the nets is also available with components. Simply select them. You can sort by reference designator, footprint type, rotation, anything else that's needed to help you locate and find the components. Now with the DFM check, another new feature is being able to isolate your DFM check per component or per net. In this case, we'll go ahead and just enter the reference designator of a component, run the exact same DFM check, except now this check will be solely under the component. And in this case, you're viewing the specific errors only under that one component. This allows you to create specific rules uh, that may tailor towards critical sections under components such as BGAs, and then you may have general rules for the rest of the board.
You can also perform DFM checks under critical nets. Simply enter in the net name and whichever DFM rule you're using, you'll go ahead and have the DFM check run solely under that net. As you see here, that's the net that we just searched under. Another great feature is the compare for jobs and layers has been improved and much more accurate. In this case, we'll just simply compare between two separate jobs and FAT3000 will find the differences either visibly or by generating an actual comparison check. In this case, we'll do the comparison check. Each error is located in the browser, just similar to the DFM checks. So you're able to easily pinpoint and browse. And if you're ready, generate a PDF report, which contains each particular violation difference so that you may the ODB++ import has been improved. As you'll see here, all the complex surfaces with islands and holes are easily imported. Another new feature is IPC 2581, the ever evolving format. It's also been improved with FAT3000 version 8. FAT3000 version 8 supports AutoCAD 2019 DWG and DXF files are all supported along with all previous versions of DWG and DXF. And GDS2 import has been improved. Make sure to download your free trial of FAB3000 version 8. Visit our website, FAB3000.com. Thank you.